And I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. <laughs> loving YouTube friends. I am here um, this afternoon at Kenzo. Um, Kenzo is the only property in Napa owned completely by a Japanese gentleman who became very wealthy in the gaming community in Japan um, and decided he wanted to make wine here in Napa. So he actually purchased this property initially uh, as a resort community for his staff um, a little bit south of us here, but due to uh, permit restrictions, which happens Quite frequently here in Napa um, wasn't actually able to do so so uh, he decided to sort of revamp his uh, initial plan and decided to build a winery I really like about this place. One, um, it's in the Wild Horse Valley. So on the very eastern side of Napa Valley, very far to the south is the Wild, Wild Horse Valley. Um, it was a 40 minute drive from St. Helena to all the way up to Kenzo. So um, it's kind of up here. It's pretty secluded, um, but beautiful, beautiful panoramic views. And any of you that speak Japanese, uh, Kenzo is going to be your place. Um, so they see a lot of Japanese tourists here. Our tasting room attendant was fluent in Japanese and conducts the tours in Japanese. Uh, not for us, obviously. So come with me. We're gonna we're gonna go taste. So Heidi Barrett has several different products around the valley, um, but she doesn't make any Sauvignon Blanc except for here at Kenzo, uh, which has sort of been their claim to fame. They make this little half bottle and it's quite expensive. But when you think about the fact that Heidi Barrett makes the wine, um, she makes Creamy Eagle back in the day, and then of course David Aker planted this whole 3,800 acre property. Um, you know, it's it's kind of like Larkmead um, in the sense that you, there's an incredible amount of quality associated with this, but with quality um, comes a little bit more money. Mm -hmm. 